So I was recently contacted by Specta, who said that they have just removed all the geofencing from their drones. Now that's the Specta Mini and the Specta Air, which are like the DJI 4K and the Air 3. And they said that was because they had so many requests for that geofencing to be removed, which I, I completely get that. So I thought, well, I'm going to take both of these drones out and go to the same place that I went to do the geofence testing the first time when I did the Specta Mini drone when we got it. And I'm just going to test it to make sure. So I'm in controlled airspace right now. So I'm going to start these up, record what I'm doing so you can kind of see that. And you do need a firmware update for that to happen. And of course, I did that on both of these drones. So I'll show that here on the screen so you can see what that process looked like. But it's just a firmware update. You go ahead and it goes through the steps, no big deal. And I'm going to try them both here. So let's give it a shot, see if that geofencing is truly gone or if it's still in our way. So I'm going to use the Aloft app to check the zone that we're in here. And you can see here that indeed we are in controlled airspace. And if I click on this, it should show us which airspace. And there it is, we're at a Mosini, we're in a Class D airspace. So in this airspace, of course, we'll go ahead and get our authorization to fly here through Lance. But the geofencing shouldn't kick in as prevent us from flying there. Even if it does warn us, it shouldn't ask us for any unlocked zones or anything, unlike the DJI drones that still require that. Let's do this. We'll do the Lance. There we go, part 107. And we are in a 400 uh, foot zone here, uh, but we don't need to go that high. We're just going to go up a couple hundred feet. We're, we're just going to go real low just to test it. We don't have to go very far at all. 45 minutes for us uh, just to make sure we're all done here recording. Eligible for approval. Next. No problem. Agree and submit. And you'll notice here that we just did get a pop-up in our text saying that we are authorized to fly here. So we have the Lance approval in our pocket, so that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and start both these drones up, see if this geofencing kicks in. And if you guys haven't seen the video that I did for the Specta Air or the Specta Mini, I'll put a link up here so that you can go ahead and check that out. Because, uh, you know, they are a, a decent drone. Uh, they are pretty much a DJI. There's no question about it. Different software, different firmware, but they are the same hardware. They act the same. So take a second and go check those out if you're interested in more of the details of how those fly. I also did a comparison between the Specta Mini and the Potensic Atom, which is a really good comparison. They're very similar drones. And you can check out the video differences between those two as well. Whew, okay, that's better. And it actually shows us now that takeoff is permitted. And last time we were in this area, it showed us that we were in a zone that needed some type of approval. Uh, so right away, that seems like it's doing its thing. But let's try to take off and make sure. And here's the drone. It's flying just fine. You can see here that we have no issues. We didn't have any warnings whatsoever. Of course, there's always a big truck that wants to go by right when you want to talk. So I apologize for the noise. There's a highway right here as well. But there was no prompt or anything that prevented us whatsoever. So if no geofencing is your thing, uh, the Specta Mini might be something to consider in a DJI level drone because this flies fantastic. I mean, look at how perfect this thing is sitting in place here. Uh, I don't think there's been an issue with the quality of the Specta drone goofy things like support and getting batteries and stuff and if they would just nail that down uh, they, they would really do well but they got to get those little details done first but regardless uh, it is flying just fine no problem at all so we're going to land that and we're going to take up the spec to air do the same thing And next is the Specta Air and you notice this wrap I have on here this is the same wrap that I put on the DJI Air 3 that I have and a couple of people asked about that so I'll put a link up in the description uh, so you can go check out those wraps they are pretty cool uh, it's this alien drones green I really love it but they have a ton of stuff on there but I initially did this because I had some seagulls that were problematic so I put this bright wrap on with a strobe and they seem to kind of come somewhere close and turn away I don't know if the green and the strobe both kind of confused them or what but that's one of the reasons that I put that on here in addition to it looks cool but we do have the Lance authorization ready, so we don't have to worry about getting that again. And so far, it looks good. Uh, I don't see anything that uh, would prevent us from taking off here. The screen says take off permitted, so it's not warning us about a protected zone or any authorization, anything like that. So let's just see if we can take off straight away. Take off. Home point update. 
And again, just like the Mini, took right off, no problems whatsoever. Perfectly fine. So again, for the Spectre Air, uh, looks like they did their thing. Flew, no problem, sitting right here. Before, remember, it said that we had to get authorization. And then you tried and you couldn't get authorization, so that was broken. So their answer was, just get rid of it altogether, which they said uh, people kept asking for no geofencing. So that is going to be one benefit if you want a DJI level drone like this, like I mentioned with the Mini. Because look at how this thing is sitting in place. It is It handles absolutely beautiful. Uh, if you want a DJI level drone and no geofencing, for that reason, this is going to be a really good alternative. Again, though, I still think they need to have a little punchier support. They need to have more parts available, like batteries and things, because it's been way too long without spare parts like that. That's just a given. That's just not right. Uh, you got to give them credit. Uh, they listened to the customer, implemented a fix that I think is doing this thing. So that's all I got for you today. Looks like Spectre did their thing. If you don't like geofencing, this might be an alternative for you. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys being here. Till next time, good flying. Ooh, baby, you are green.